Hello everyone, I hope you're doing amazing. Today I want to share this quick testimony with you. Something that happened at the Identity Conference in December last year. This one lady stood out above all the rest of the incredible miracles that God did, um, just from my perspective. And I asked her to actually put on film and tell her what ha tell us what happened, which I want to share with you today. And you know what happened is the day before the conference, she got in a car accident, well, a motorbike accident actually, and she was thrown off her bike into the back of a of a truck. And from there, the next day, she was brought to the conference by some friends, and we were able to actually pray for her. I remember when she came to me, she was in an incredible amount of pain. And, uh, and, and I'll let her share what happened next. There was, there was four times already that I had near-death experience. Well, it wasn't near-death, I should have probably passed away. The first time when I was small, I missed boat engines. I, I don't know how I went underneath them, but I survived. Second time was when I was in the ocean, I had a seizure. Two weeks, I should have been dead as well. Mm -hmm. Third one, a car accident. Everyone passed away, I survived. And um, two days ago, I was on my motorcycle. I looked away. I was driving nothing below 60 kilometers an hour, and I went straight in the back of a bucky. Um, my arm took the whole pressure, and then my neck bent in some very strange way, and I fell in the back of the bucky. Um, I stood up and I took my bike out of the road, and obviously crying a little bit, and pushed it home and realized. I should not be walking right now. I should probably not even be alive because just looking at the whole thing, it was impossible. Um, people have always told me that when you, when something happened and I survived, they said, um, the Lord has a plan for you one day. And being young, you, you hear it and you think, you know, okay, probably whatever. Or just You take it in for a while and then you just move on. Um, and it got me thinking yesterday, this really is the fourth time, why is this happening? And I came to a group session with my friend, conference. the conference, and um, what happened was I was, in, I was in a lot of pain because of the accident. And then um, there was someone who was <laughs> saying, is they praying for anyone who was injured? I didn't come forth at first because I'm a very shy person and afterwards um, not having any hope to be honest I went to him and I asked him please can you pray for me um, he didn't pray long it was a five second prayer but How, what was what was your condition at that point my condition was my my arm is was so damaged because of the impact my my whole right side of my body was in such pain I was I was trying to hide it, but it was it was horrible. And I knew in the next 24 hours it would be even worse. The bruising was horrible. Um, and I explained to him what pain I have, even a, even a previous pain that's been going on for two months in my other foot. There was a tendon that was tore and uh, torn. And he prayed five seconds, and not even after five seconds, three seconds, I could actually stand up straight i could stand on i could put my full weight on the right side it was just it was completely gone it was it was such a shock at the time i just you, you don't really take it in and you don't really get it but then i i cried and i got home and then i realized even my tendon that's been torn was completely healed there was no pain i could move my foot in any direction i wanted to and i realized you know there's definitely this I think miracles, you never believe them until you actually experience them. And you, you are scared of the things that's unknown, so you do not, don't go that way. You deny it, you seek for something else that makes sense. But um, I, think, I think definitely God has a plan for me. He has a very big plan for me, and I'm going to learn about Him. Because I want, I want, to know what that plan is and I want to live it out fully. And and then what happened today? Um, today, so um, I came to get baptized, which was a very big deal. And um, I went under the water and I just said things I wanted to get rid of. Mm. And I did. And I feel, I feel like light as a feather. <laughs> <laughs> wow, praise God. <laughs> mm.
And that's all glory to God, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, no one else. Yeah, yeah, awesome.